All right, so we're just down at the local creek. Dad's on to an eel for shark bait. Um, we just got snapped off through some trace somehow. So let's hopefully land this. We're in the night because um, we've been doing some research that eels are more likely to like bite at night and it's paying off so far. Is he still on? Yeah, yeah. Just got to get him over through all the weed. Oh, he's up. He's surfaced. Big eel. Can't really see him at the moment. Uh, is there a spot to the over there? Oh. I'm just gonna try and land him. Oh, watch out! We'll stop the video here until we land him. Where'd my torch go? All right, it's right at the bank here. Oh. Heavy. Um, I might get you to take the rod if that's all right, mate. It's fine. Proving to be very difficult. Yeah. Holy crap! The size of that thing. That is huge. All right, bring him up. Just put the rod down. <laughs> yeah, mate. Um, he is. Put this guy. He is massive. He's literally the size of my hand. Look at that. That is perfect shark bait. We'll try to get another one. But he's perfect for this week. Okay. Well, we just put him out of his misery. And he is the fattest eel we've ever seen. So we're going to take him home. Tomorrow we're going to show you how to prepare eel for shark bait and we'll hopefully catch some sharks with this guy here's the eel we caught last night we're just preparing him and cutting him up for shark bait later today for our trip out to the port let's get into it all right so here we're just cutting some matchbox size fillets for the sharks later today um they should just look like this dad's just cutting one off now and basically what we're going to do, we're going to put them in these little plastic Ziploc bags with tuna oil and it creates a scent through the, the eel soaks up the tuna oil and creates a real scent for the sharks um, that attracts them a lot more. And we've had a lot of success the last few times we've used them, got runs every time. So just cut back to when dad's done. Just got some tuna oil here from BCF. Um, just pouring it in one of the plastic bags. Gonna put some eel fillets in there and it should soak up quite nice in the freezer. And we'll use it later the Savo for some sharks. We'll also cut some bigger bits, some like big eye fillet steaks basically for those bigger types of sharks than these ones over here. So we'll see you at the port. using a three metre trace just to be extra cautious. Any there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big shark. Isn't that real just scream? Fun. 
Come around this side. Yeah. There he goes again. Is this a shark? Yep, it's a big shark. Can't see. It's just out there, about two metres, three metres. There he is, coming in now. Don't. There he is there. You see him? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a shark. Oh, crap. Oh, look at that shark. That is a monster. How good. Look at that. Whew. He'd be 1.5. Alright, uh, we're gonna we can get him on. Wait for it to calm. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is massive.
release him off 